G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm out here, I'm back out the bush, and I'm prospecting. And I've come to that spot on one of my previous videos where I found some greenstone in a, um, in a granite outcrop. Granite with quartz string of veins running everywhere through this granite. But um, I found some other different, a different type of rock here. And I'll just give you a close-up. I think it might be porphyry. Is that? All right. There's your granite. That's your granite. There's uh, different forms of granite here. There's that. And then I found this this rock. This is all all into interwoven. So you've got this type of rock here, which I think might be um oh, what's that rock called now? I've forgotten what it's called. Um andesite. I think this might be an andesite. So you've got your quartz string of veins run through here, you've got your granite, your uh, andesite, which I think this is this is. And there's also a uh, greenstone, that's what I'm looking for. This is a bit of greenstone. This is what I'm looking for because I picked up some greenstone here before and there was gold and copper in it, very fine. So I thought I'd come back today and look for a contact where this greenstone meets up against the granite. That's what I'm looking for. And I've been hunting around here this morning, looking around, and I couldn't find any of this greenstone. It's only a very, um, very small vein that's um, pushed up through this granite. So I was hunting around, and I found a bit. I'll just show you. This. Just here. I found this big chunk coming out of the ground. Here's your greenstone. You can see this fine quartz string of bones running through it. But that black sparkly stuff, that's your greenstone. So I've got this rock here that I just broke out of the out of the ground. So that that greenstone is just there. So I'm gonna dig down around here and see if I can find where that vein, actual vein is. Yeah, because this here looks similar, dark with the, um, with the quartz string of veins going through it. But it's not. As you can see, this is like a quartz, mineralized quartz. Yeah. That's what that is. So that's not, this rock here is not greenstone like I thought it was. Um, you don't really know until you break the rocks open. You can see inside them. So that's just a granite, a form of granite. I think that's like a granite and andesite. The andesite, this andesite and the granite have mixed together, infused. Yeah. So the trick today is to look around here and try and find the greenstone um vein that runs through here through this area i'll just give you a bit of a, a look at the ground here this is all up there is granite that's all granite outcrop and then as you get down to the to the edge i'm sort of on the on the edge of this outcrop that's where it all drops away down there runs down into a valley and there's a small creek down in there. Yeah, so um, this is where I'm prospecting anyway today, guys, just in this area here. Okay, where I've placed the hammer, that's where I found a big piece of greenstone, just there. I've, I've started from down there. I'll just come around this way and show you. So here's the slope here. This is where it all drops off down into that gully. 
So I've sort of started digging about where the hammer is. That's where I pulled out a big, a nice big piece of greenstone out of there. And then as I went forward, I picked up another piece of greenstone and then sort of nothing. And I'll just show you the greenstone, greenstone that I'm finding. It's probably not a good example. There we are. There. That black, that black colour rock, that's the greenstone. And see how there's all um, quartz stringer veins all running through it. Yeah, that's what caught my eye. Also, this is very heavy. It's, it's a heavy rock. Now, as I kept digging towards the, the outcrop, because there's all the outcrop there, and I'm digging towards it, I pulled out this rock. I hope you can get a good, good look at that. Anyway, this looks like it's got greenstone infused into another type of rock. Maybe it's the, the granite, maybe it's infused into the granite. That's what it looks like. Here's a big rock, a big piece that I broke it off. You can see that dark colour in there. That looks like the greenstone to me. Here's a better piece. See that dark colour rock there? That looks like the greenstone and it's infused into, I don't know if it's um, andesite or, or into the granite, but it's infused into it. So I'm saying this is the contact right there. That's a piece of it. So I'm going to keep this. This is going home with me with the rest of that greenstone. I'll be crushing this up and uh, looking to see if there's any gold in it. Yeah, because like I said, I know there's gold in this material. There is gold, fine gold and copper in this material. So I'm looking for the contact uh, going by Jeff Williams where the greenstone meets the granite that's where he said he'd found uh, most of the gold um, on the contact so that's what I'm looking for okay guys I'll get back to you okay I dug right up to the contact I couldn't find any more of that greenstone all along here that's all you your granite con contact and I just broke a piece out of here off the contact and you can see the quartz the white quartz then that other darker color which is sort of similar to the that rock that I broke I thought it, and um, I thought it was a contact because it had that black greenstone in it so I think this is a contact, that's where that other piece of rock came from and the green stone was attached to this right here, right along this contact that's where the green stone was but obviously it's all broken up and it's just all shed so in amongst all this rubble here that goes down towards the, uh, the gully all that green stone is broken up and shed down but like I said it's not a big it's not a big vein, it probably only would have been, I don't know, maybe a foot at the most, wide. The stuff I'm finding is only about four, four or five inches wide, um, the pieces. So I don't think it was a big vein. Anyway guys, that'll do me, I've got enough for a sample. I'll just show you what I've got in the bucket. So I've got all that, I've got about half a bucket there. Of the, a lot of that is, is greenstone so I'll be taking that home I'll be crushing it and panning it out and see if I can get any big pieces of gold that we can actually see in the pan instead of microscopic stuff yeah anyway guys I'll um I might take some more samples just up the road a bit I'll get back to this Okay, I've got a target guys, I mean, it's non-ferrous, but I'm thinking it might be a bullet, but anyway, got to have a look I suppose, don't we? It's only going to be shallow, I'm thinking a bullet. Oh, 
it's on top of a, a pile of dirt. Someone's dug a hole there. So chances are it's a bit of junk. Someone's dug a hole and left a pile of dirt here, so might be a can of coke or something. Okay, let's have a bit of a look here. See what we got. I'll just set you up so you can see what I'm doing. Gonna be one of those. Probably a bullet because it's sunk to the bottom of the pile. Where is it? Right, we got him. That's it. What the hell is that? I think it's a piece of piece of steel, I think. Got a magnet here. Yeah, it's magnetic, but it was um well that's weird. It's just a big piece of metal. It was coming up non-ferrous, but it uh, it sticks to the to the magnet. So it's obviously steel. Yeah. Strange. Okay guys, I'll move on. Okay guys, I'm back home. I've broken up some of that green stone that I'm gonna crush. I'll just show you there in the bucket. There you go. It's all, all broken up, ready to, to be crushed. Here's a, a piece of the rock. Yeah, you see that black material in there? And it's um, there's just all quartz stringers through it. You can see the rusty color. That's the sulfides bleaching out of the rock. Yeah, so anyway, I know there is gold in this rock, so um, we'll find out, find out if we get a bit more out of this stuff. Okay guys, pan number one of our greenstone ore and I'm hoping that we'll get a few pieces that you can actually see in the pan. I know there's, there is fine gold in this material, microscope stuff, but uh, hopefully we'll get a few pieces that you can actually see. when I sampled this material before in one of my previous videos there was um, small pieces of copper so there were small pieces of copper and small pieces of gold in it in this material okay Let's pan it back. See if we get any gold. Oh, 
I can see metal from the crusher. I can see a piece of gold. Yeah, fine gold. I can see it. It's all in here, guys. All in here. That super fine gold. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stuff it all up and I'll put it in the in the pan and uh, yeah, shows at the end what we get. Okay, pan number three. And yes, there's gold in this material, guys, but it's it's jeweler loop stuff. It's really, really fine gold as as per before. Um, in my, one of my previous videos when I I processed some of this material and uh, it was really fine gold. There was a couple of specks, I remember, I could actually see them um, in the pan with the naked eye, I could see them, but not very many, only just the odd the odd piece. Most of it is, uh, is really fine stuff, micro gold. But uh, maybe I've got to go along that that outcrop, follow it along, because it's on a it's on a fault. Follow it along and take some more samples at a different spot along that fault. Okay guys. Let's see if we can see a big piece in this pan be nice to get a nice piece that you can actually see doesn't look like it it's just that fine stuff fine gold up the back it's um, what they call flower gold it's that fine Okay guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number six and the last pan. And uh, all I'm seeing guys is just a few little um, little specks. I haven't, actually I didn't see any copper. I'm seeing a few specks of gold. Yeah, so. Don't know what's going on there. But once I look under the microscope, we'll We'll see what's in this material anyway. That'll give us a better idea. Yeah, the, the gold is definitely there in this greenstone, but... Uh, only fine, only really super fine, but maybe somewhere along along the contact there is a better spot, a richer spot. That's what we've got to find. Okay, lucky last pan. Can we get a piece that you can see? I don't know if that's a piece right there in front of my finger or if it's a bit of metal. I can't really tell. It looks goldeny, but I'm not really sure. Might be just a metal, bit of metal, I think. Maybe just a metal, bit of metal out of the uh, out of the crusher. But all the fine gold is up the back here. It's all up here. Super fine. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll get back to you at the wrap up. G'day, guys. Yeah. Well, that wasn't very good. I was actually expecting to see a few little specks in the pan um, with the naked eye. But nah, it wasn't to be. But I've got a, I've still got a heap of that rock in the bucket. That what I crushed was only a couple of pieces of rock. Um, I just crushed it up just to, to um, sample it, pan it out, and see what we got. The rest of the rock I'll probably crush it up another time and have another, 
another look at it. Um, I've still got that rock that was the contact up against the, the greenstone up, uh, contacted up against the granite. So I've still got some of that in the bucket. Maybe I might crush some of that up and have a look. Yeah, um, that's about it. It's pretty warm today. It's really overcast and it's humid. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be about 35, 36 degrees Celsius today. Yeah, and it feels it. It's really warm. Okay, guys, um, that's it. Sorry I couldn't show you any gold again. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely out there. I've just got to gotta keep looking and um, hopefully come across something um, that I can show you. Yeah. Okay, guys. Cheers. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching my videos and supporting my channel. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.